Oh, okay. All right. Properties. Hello there, Foas. What's up, technology? Or technology? Hello there. Why are you always? Why are you? Why? Valley of Heroes over. Nice. Hello, Narna Brain. Hello, Zeus. Hello, Ashy Abungus Iklian. I've been waiting for a gladiator run for so long. Well, you're going to keep waiting for gladiator runs today, my friend. Hello there, Jason. Hello, Mr. Candy King Games. Hello, Kiyashi. Occasional Spoonerism. Chems. Kimchi. Extremely base, not cringe. Deadlocked OST tier list. Aw, oh, hell nah. Yeah, whatever. Kitty the Cat. Kariyama. Eepin White Sky. Just watching the Ouya OST tier list. Nice. Well, now you get another one. Been having bad butterflies for quite a while now, but stream time good. Vibes time. Yeah, I'm not having the best day ever today myself, but I understand. I was a little pissed about how things went. Uh, my alarm clock did not go off last night, and I ended up falling asleep at... I ended up falling asleep at 1.30, and I woke up at 11.30, which really pissed me off. Basically just fucked up my entire day, but here we are. And uh, I'd say this Twitter poll is going pretty well. <laughs> I'd say uh, I'd say all things considered, you guys are really rooting for for uh, the the good side of history here. That's <laughs> what's up, Sniper Wave. What's up, Frost One? Hello, bored dude. Who doesn't love tier lists? Days always get the possibility to improve. Just saying. Yeah, I'm. I know, but it's gonna be a stupid day today. Unfortunately, I feel like a lot of the deadlocked OST is very similar, but a lot of it is great. Yeah, I mean, we'll see how it goes, right? Hello, someone. Thank you for the 16 months. Hey, this isn't GTA. What the fuck? Everybody from the Ratchet community always be complaining. They always be complaining. How's your stream schedule looking on Christmas? You take the holidays off? It's a Sunday. I don't know if you guys are aware, but Christmas is a Sunday this year. And what do I always do on Sundays? Well, not stream. That's what. Busting out the PS hoodie for this? Okay, champ. You know how it be. I'm from the Tread community. A likely story. You really surprised me yesterday with that OST. Just want to say thank you. Already have my picks. Good to see you, Zem. Godspeed to you. You really surprised me yesterday with that OST. Already have my picks. Are you saying that the announcement of me doing this surprised you? I'm not 100% sure what... I'm not sure I understand. On the Discord? Oh, I see. Okay. Can't believe this day finally arrived. I know. Isn't this crazy? Nacho app. Hello there, Lav. It's good to see you. Hope your click rate, click through rate goes up in the near future for real, for real. Thanks, Alpha Clunk. I appreciate that, dude. Really looking forward to this OST. Probably not the first one to say that. Thank you. Glad you're excited for it. Gamers, reminder to vote in the Rack Awards. Uh, vote for me for Run of the Year because I deserve it. Yeah. <laughs> You can also vote for me for video of the year, but I'd be less mad if I lost that. Yeah, the Rack Awards in the Rack Discord. Aren't they remaking Gladiator Deadlocked? Who told you that? Where did you find that information, Sen? To be fair, the Plaid Trophy video, eyes emoji. I know, right? I wouldn't be mad if I lost that, though, because I think if anybody deserves to win that, it's Kerpling for his Ouya tutorial. That's like an hour and a half long and extremely comprehensive. But uh, if I end up losing to both that and Ricky's video, I'm going to be a little pissed. <laughs> I've seen clickbait videos about deadlocked remakes. Yeah, I, I haven't heard any information like that. I feel like I would know 
I, I feel like I would have heard about that if there was any sort of like valid like uh, rumors, you know? You know what I mean? Didn't Ricky do a good video too? Yeah. But listen, okay, actually no, I, I should know better. If ever given a choice between voting for me or voting for Ricky, the rack community will pick Ricky 90% of the time. <laughs> so yeah, never mind. That's a lost cause. Don't vote for me for video of the year. I'm not going to win. Vote for me for run of the year. Vote for me for that instead. Self-aware king. Yeah, it's just the truth. They like Ricky better than they like me. <laughs> That's how it's always been. Which run did you do this year? Uh, AGB world record. I think you're pretty neat. Thanks, Tread. I appreciate that. I'm not trying to be a, a, a sourpuss about it. I speak humbly, not as a statement of disparagement, but... Or, I'm sorry. I speak not as a statement of disparagement, but humbly, as a simple fact. I voted for you in the top three videos. Thanks, technology. I appreciate that. I'll take top three. I'm, I'm happy with that. Your AGB runs were amazing. It took... I, I mostly... Yeah, I don't know. I mostly... I need a little something, you know? I need a morsel. It's been a hard year for your boy. What's up, Pyro Cube? Thank you for the 29 months, dude. Best OST in the series, TBH. Well, that's why this is the last one I'm doing. That's it. Gamers, this is the last OST tier list I'm ever doing. I'm never doing another Ratchet game after this. Ever. Ever, 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 ever. So enjoy this while you can. Because frankly, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> and people keep begging... Well, actually, no. You people are right to beg. That I, I, people are allowed to want what they want. I'm also allowed to not do what I don't want to do. And uh, yeah, all the other OSTs after this are bad, so there's no reason for me to do any of them anyway. Can you do a Jack One OST tier list? I'm gonna ban you, right now, Lav Lavender. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Kraken time and tools of destruction have great OSTs. What the fuck? Yeah, I also cope in my everyday life. I also cope by saying things like, today I'll go to bed early. What's up, Salty? I'm just glad this one is being made. It's my second favorite in the series. I got you, gamer doof. ACIT barely has an OST, so there's nothing to rank. Yeah, mostly it, it's... The ACIT OST is, is just fucking space noises. It's just like... And like, like that's basically the entire OST, the entire OST. Yeah, pirate radio was good. That was about it. I think OST tier lists are kind of stupid, but I enjoy watching you, so it's okay. Well, I appreciate that. Extremely based, not cringe. What's up, Adrian? Blood on the Snow, God of War, Ragnarok, Sun's Path, Rest is irrelevant. What are you talking about, Negative Cookie? What about League of Legends champion tier list? Rack Hurdle? I'm not doing the Rack Hurdle. Listen, guys, it's the same fucking thing every time I do Rack Hurdle. I tell you guys I'm not good at Rack Hurdle because I don't listen to the game's music at all. I always have the games muted. And then you guys go, no, 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 Zem, just do the Rack Hurdle anyway. It'll be fun. And then I do it, and then I fuck up like four times, and you guys are like, lol, he's so bad. How are you so bad at this? Oh, my God, you play nothing but Ratchet games. How do you suck at this so badly? And then I just go, do you not, did you not listen to me? And then you guys go, lol. Is there a link to Rack Hurdle? Yeah, I'll show you what the link to the Rack Hurdle is. Rack-Hurdle.Glitch.Me XQC was good at gambling, but bet on France. XQC has never been good at gambling. That's the, uh, the, the grave misunderstanding. He's never been good at gambling. He just has a lot of money. I will, however, do today's Wordle. 
Hold on, I got this. Let me put on some intense music. All right, I got to get something really intense to get the blood pumping. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing. This song is <laughs> I just I don't know man I just <laughs> I just wish they would give me harder wordles that's all I want dude <laughs> and thank you Nick for the 53 months dude I really appreciate that <laughs> all right Hurdle, please. I, no, okay. If you guys want me to do the rack hurdle, you got to at least give some subs. All right, listen. It's been a, fu a tough fucking month for your boy. I barely have any subs left. I better get at least five if you want me to embarrass myself with the rack hurdle, okay? If you want to make fun of me, you at least have to give me your money first. You don't even know what a slate is? Like a slate? Like, um... Like, the, the saying goes, like, if, if uh, like, a clean slate, like, a slate would be, like, a, something that you, like, write on. And then, like, a slate is, like, a clean slate. For example, there's a metaphor where you say, like, you have a clean slate. As if you were to erase the things off of the slate. And therefore, it's clean. Dude, stop saying slate. I will not stop saying slate. All right. We're going to do this deadlocked OST now because, well, it's time. All right. I don't want this to take forever. Um, This is a four-hour OST, but I don't want to be here for the next four hours. Last is a funny way of saying next in a never-ending series. Wait, what was it? What was it that I said, Loader? It was yesterday's... Uh, Yesterday's cringe is to, is tomorrow's based or something. Can we watch Henry's kitchen after? Who the fuck is Henry? And why do I care about his kitchen? Yesterday's L's are tomorrow's W's. That's what it was. Thank you. Have you seen the Argentinian goalie's extremely legendary golden glove celebration? No, but I saw that one uh, goal that he blocked in that one-on-one -on -one against Mbappe that saved the entire thing. Two L's make a W. Holy shit. What's up, PGL sound guy? Welcome to the stream. All right. We're going to go do this OST. All right. Hold on. Let me do the YouTube intro. Hello, everyone. Wait. Okay. Okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the final installment of the Zem Ratchet and Clank OST tier list series. You saw number one. You saw number two. You saw number three. And what follows that? What comes after three? Obviously deadlocked. And there are no other Ratchet games worth doing an OST tier list on. I don't care what you have to say. I'm not doing any more after this. All right, let's start. So we're going to start with DZ Training. <laughs> Never mind, we're going to start with Technology Gifting 5 subs, meaning I have to do today's Rack Hurdle. Thank you for that, Technology. I appreciate the 5 gift subs. Gamers, I better see some goddamn salutes in the chat for the first 5 bomb I've seen in weeks. <laughs> Alright, here we go. What the hell are these squiggle noises? Alright, this is obviously, this is obviously from Full Frontal Assault, main theme. <laughs> this is obviously 
Um, this is obviously Dread Zone Crusader Tournament Static Death Static Death Trap. Okay, wait, I get one more chance. Okay, wait, 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 hold on. I'm feeling some sort of inspiration here. For some reason, I feel like the answer is, is magically zooming its way into my head. Hold on. Uh, this is, I'm channeling the ethos. Ratchet and Clank. This is obviously into the Nexus. And wait, hold on. I'm feeling like... Of all the options, for some reason, it is the Yerrick Miro Orphanage? I'm killing myself. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Simone, for the 15 months. I appreciate it. All right, here we go. Dread Zone Training. Wow. This is really, oh. This sucks. I'm putting it in, wait a minute. I'm putting in C tier. C Jampton. C Jam Hampton. They give it the 14 months. Yeah, this one's cringe. I don't like it. All right, Dread Zone Station. kind of good. Mm. I'm waiting for it to like pick up, you know. I want I want to I want to see what it what all it's got. You know, you feel me? It just does this. It just does that for a while. Oh my god. Insomniac, thank you for the 22 months. There's a time and a place for everything, and this is surely the right time to play Deadlocked. Uh, you guys might be a bit disappointed if you're expecting me to play Deadlocked today. Big Gorilla, thank you for the gifted sub. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Madge business, I was scammed. No, you just refused to read the title of the stream. It's not my fault you can't read. How about an S? So it's kind of based. We have Crima Rest. VRW9. Hi. I want to promo offer promotion of your channel viewers, followers, chats, or views, chat bots. Nick, why did you ban that guy? They're just trying to hustle. God damn it, Nick. Dude, this is a great picture for the advanced qual. Okay. Yeah, that's a great song. I like it. Alright, Marauder Tournament. Advanced Qualifier. Happy birthday, Jixi. Oh, 
Oh. Come on, give me give me a stronger drop than that. Come on. Oh. This part's kind of boring. That belongs there. Good, not excellent. All right, now we're gonna grist for this mill here. He's kind of hitting so far. I mean, DZ training was kind of cringe. But so far, we got back to back to back bangers. Oh, dude, the little wub wubs going on. Who doesn't like the wub wubs? That feels right. That's a good fucking song. All right. Up next, listen, I can't believe we already have this. Like, putting challenge complete this early on in the OST tier list is like, for example, putting the Spec versus Hanayama fight in episodes five and six of Baki. It's like putting Gara versus Rock Lee in the first 20 episodes of Naruto. If you ever get tired of listening to this, you have no soul. I would go so far as to say, I have doubts that anything will beat this. <laughs> Dude, that flat six to flat seven to flat two because they don't want to give you the one just yet. Oh my god. I want to listen to that again.
I can listen to this all day, dude. I'm gonna say it. I think this is the best track in Deadlocked. I just do. I think it's the best track. It's the best one. And I really seriously doubt that anything is gonna beat this. But I'm open to being wrong. All right. Damn, dude. This is kind of... This is kind of sad. Like, if you lose and you have to listen to this, you really do feel like a failure. You really do feel like a failure. I'm putting this right here. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Imagine just losing. <laughs> like, this song makes you stare into the void. It's like, are you sure you can live with yourself after this? <laughs> I know, Loader. It really is the Rock Lee versus Gara of the Ratchet Deadlocked OST. Damn, man, this is brutal. All right, on to Catacrom 4. Yo, welcome back, Matteo. Never mind, see you later, Matteo. The escape. What is this cringe little B section we got going on here? The best four measures of the song were the first four, and everything else has been downhill since there. I'm going to put it in B. It was up, Robert R909. Welcome to the stream, dude. You basically never listen to that part as the challenges, is so, challenges are so short. Yeah, but that's the problem, you know, is that eventually you probably will have to listen to them, you know? Like right now, for example. Juicing? What the hell is juicing? Oh, is it just XQC screaming a bunch? Yeah, that makes sense. All right, where are we right now? We're on, on the prowl. Okay. What's up, Venus? Oh, oh, sorry, Meowdy Venus. Something I worry about in this OST, and I hope I'm wrong about this, but I'm worried that the songs of this game are all gonna start sounding the same after a while. You know what I mean? I hope 
I'm wrong about that. I've made my assessment. We're gonna put this one. I'm gonna put this one in B tier as well. It's a little bit stronger than Valley of Heroes across the board, but eh, I'm still looking for that illust illustrious A tier song. Okay, we're going to all board the Landstalker now. Valley of Heroes is kind of better though. For the first four measures, yeah, but then it's it falls off a cliff. You just remember Valley of Heroes more because you like the first four measures. Aw, thank you, Sean. I appreciate that, dude. You didn't wait for the drop? Oh, no, dude. Did my camera really do this? Jesus. Uh, my stream's going to crash. All right. Yeah, sorry, guys. There's just been... If I'm being completely honest, it's been a shit day so far. Really shit day. I'm trying to turn it around, but it's tough. Very hard to feel like I am worth anything on days like today. But that's just my own personal shit. Want to vent? Not particularly. It's not really super complicated. I just... Woke up four hours later than I was supposed to. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, my life is a disaster. And my mom is coming over this week, and if I'm being completely honest, I don't want her to. But it's whatever. I'll get over it. At least you didn't fall with your ass on ice like me. Oh, I actually did fall off. I got thrown off my electric scooter the other day. Kind of sucked. Oh, well, we'll get back into the OST tier list in a second here, guys. I'm going to let the ads play out. Uh, I'm going to let people get back in the stream because Twitch does this hilarious thing where uh, it, like, basically doesn't show any viewers. <laughs> Like, if your stream goes down at all, like, let's say, for example, you go down, like, you're streaming and you have 2,000 viewers, and then your stream goes offline for five seconds and then comes back online, it won't show you have 2,000 viewers, even if they all stuck around for two hours. So, very fun stuff on Twitch's part. Very good website. You know, it will definitely cheer you up ranking the four-hour deadlock dosti. We're going to get back into it in a second. Piss gotta do payments through phone. PlayStation won't let me. You can't do it through like computer or anything. I don't want like you, you shouldn't be costing yourself more money like that, Bo. That's irresponsible. Hello there, Jack Spratty. I was being sarcastic. This is painful. Yeah. Whatever. No one asked for your opinion, Rue. Okay. Is don't own one? Oh shit, dude. I had no idea. I said it earlier, but my sister and I are going to go to the dentist. We'll be back in about an hour from the first one to the office. Uh, have fun. Don't get your teeth fucked up. Simply having a wonderful Christmas time. Oh, yeah. Reminder, I have a Christmas album. If you guys want to download my Christmas album. Just figured I'd say that while we're... Uh, Still technically taking a break, waiting for the ads to run out. All right, is everybody back from ads? Everybody back? Yes? Are you the singer? No, I'm the triangle player. Yeah, of course I'm the singer, silly. The new one or the old one? It's the same one. It's a Christmas album. You don't. People don't make a Christmas album every year. 
Mariah Carey is not like, wow, I need to remake this song that I made 20 years ago. That song plays a million times in my work. You just gave me chills. San, are you British by chance? Because I can, I can imagine that's probably why you hear it every five seconds. The British still haven't, like, the British were responsible for the Beatles and they still haven't, like, they still try to ride that wave, you know what I mean? They still try to be like, yeah, and it may have been 60 years ago at this point, but, like, we were on top of the world back then, baby. I got you, Arkhamon. My pleasure. Along with Wham. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. Last Christmas is is good, but I don't really like it that much. But Beatles. I do like the Beatles. I think they're a good band, despite what Zoomers may say. Christmas songs suck dick. Yeah, I agree. Is there any... Okay... Are there good Christmas songs? Can we answer this question real quick before we get back into the OST? Are there good Christmas songs? Let's see what Google has to say. Feliz Navidad is fucking awesome. That is a banger of a Christmas song. Okay? This song sucks. This song sucks. This sucks. This one's okay. This one sucks. This one, actually, I would go so far as to say, really sucks. 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 Not bad, actually. Not bad. Um, this one sucks. This one sucks. I don't even know what this one is, but I'm sure that it sucks. Um, sucks, 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 sucks. This one really sucks. I don't know this one. I'm going to leave all judgments out. This one's actually good. The Christmas song, if you don't like the Christmas song, you may not have a soul. That one's actually good, I think. Uh, Yoko Ono made this one, so it obviously sucks. This one sucks. I don't know what that one sounds like. Rocking Around the Christmas Tree, it's good, but it's overplayed. This one, I'm gonna say it. It's just alright. Sucks. Okay, you know what? I think they picked the wrong Christmas songs. There's a few good Christmas songs. There are. There's, but the best one, in my opinion, This Christmas by Donny Hathaway. I'm not going to play it because of DMCA, but if you haven't heard it, it's a banger. It is a banger. Fairy Tales of New York. What the hell is Fairy Tales of New York? Song by the Pogues. That's like if, if, if like a, Boomer, like, that's that's how I imagine how they pronounce the word pog. Which one is this one? I just don't think I'm Irish enough to be able to enjoy this. <laughs> I just, I just don't think I am. He looks like Zem actually. What part of, 
of this looks like me? Is it the fact that we both have a nose and eyebrows and hair? <laughs> Christmas Drillings by Sidemen featuring JME. Christmas Drillings. Knees up, man pulled up, didn't see one knee up. Everyone's stush, don't wanna free up. It's fucking October, why is your tree up? Been wrapping them gifts in cunch, dropping them off, trying to get my peel. J. Joe. Oh, that's the remix. I'm sorry, of course. Off to a bad start, Boris. Or not a good start, Boris. Let's see where this goes. Christmas knees up, man pulled up, didn't see one knee up. Everyone's stush, don't wanna free up. It's fucking October, why is your tree up? Been wrapping them gifts in cunch. Dropping them off, trying to get my pee up. Then John Lewis put out that shit advert. They're raking in the peas. Dumb consumers still can't see. Mummy's trying to make ends meet. Christmas extortion, Christmas. Free. Down your spine, you'll feel a tingle when you hear this festive jingle. This one's drilled up, up like Pringle. You can get wrapped up, no Chris Kringle. See, it's Christmas and you don't want to miss this. Don't need lights because we're bringing the litmus. So you're better off hiding your missus because I'm top of a wish list. I would go so far as to say this is the worst Christmas song I've ever heard in my life. I will say no more on this. Now you just have no taste. No, I'm pretty sure I have good taste. Listen to the hook. I swear to God. What isn't the hook if that's not the hook? Where the fuck is the hook? Tell me where the hook is. Is it right here? It's a one, two, three. Man, I'll cut down your Christmas tree. Gonna take this flow out in the snow. Back to Skid Row, fuck mistletoe. Pull up on Santa and Jack his sleigh. Him and his elves might pass away. I skipped the hook. Pay no presents to your birthday. Christmas drill is making killing. Spending all your pee. Don't look under the tree. Ain't no presents to your birthday. Ain't no presents to your birthday. All right, I'm going to say it. Anybody who enjoys this this song has brain rot from liking the Sidemen. It's okay to like the Sidemen. They make good content. This is not one of those pieces of content that's good. This song is fucking terrible. It's okay to like the Sidemen. They are good at what they do. But they should stick to what they do. Because they're bad at making music. Take away, Walter. I'm not having sex with you right now, Walter. Litmus by Jake Paul. It's a banger. I'm not listening to that. All right, I'm going to give it a couple more minutes so that uh, in case I get DMCA'd. Yo, Spratty, thank you for the $5. Says, Listen to Peter Griffin's Christmas Carol songs on YouTube. Oh, yeah, that's... Hold on. Peter Griffin Christmas carol songs sessions presents a peter griffin christmas featuring such standards as everybody look at the snow in the yard and who could forget <laughs> I brought these gifts for you. They're up in my bum. And everyone's favorite. La 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 la. Look at the bells. Look at the bells. Holy crap! Here comes Jesus, and he doesn't look too happy. Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> I actually hate Carol the Bells. That song sucks. Now that you're doing Deadlock. This is finally relevant again. Yo, YouTube comment, what's your favorite position? Mine is the top of the leaderboard. I 
I feel like there is a moment. I feel like this is the 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 pivotal moment in Ratchet and Clank community history where everyone stopped taking me seriously. I think this is the moment that it happened where people are like, Zem doing things? Nah. <laughs> that guy is washed. <laughs> What's up, T-Bone, your car? Try listening to Carol the Bells from Batman Arkham Origins. It's actually fire. That's okay, guys. Guys, oh, by the way, that reminds me. Uh, make sure you vote for me in the Rack Awards because I deserve run of the year. I don't care if you vote for me for video of the year. I've already accepted that I'm going to lose to Kerpling. But I deserve run of the year, goddammit. Did they take you seriously before? You guys don't know. You don't know the era where I was feared. There's a reason why people still think I can go to different categories and get world records. But that is a bygone era, I do admit. Fear SR. What does that even mean? Oh, fear SR. Yeah, I see what you're saying. I'm going to vote for Tarna. Tarna. Never mind. All right. Uh, Arkham Origins Carol of the Bells. 2022 gamers don't remember 2018 Zem. Yeah, dude. Tw <laughs> oh, I'm still mad about not getting run of the year in 2018. I'm still mad about that. That I will always be bitter about. I will always be bitter for not getting that. You got it in 2019? No. I didn't get it that year either. I got runner-up to Franz. I got runner-up to Scotto in 2018. Runner-up to Franz in 2019. And then I finally got it in 2020. A year where I didn't deserve it. To be fair to Franz. No, no, don't. To be fair to Franz. I deserved a 2019 as well. But I'm willing to accept that Franz got it in 2019. <laughs> And actually thinking about Scotto 2018. No, no, no. I had the sweep in Rag 2 and Rag 3 simultaneously in 2018. And I still didn't get Rudder of the Year. I'll always be bitter about that. I will agree with you though. You didn't deserve 2020. I'm willing to accept that I didn't deserve it in 2020 if people finally admit that I deserved it in 2018 and 2019. <laughs> All right, let me see this. I'll talk to the council. <laughs> you get all the money in the rack community, you, didn't, you don't need the awards? See, this... Okay, alright. This is what is fucking ridiculous. Alright? No, never mind. I'm not going to get baited by this. Okay, wait, wait. You know, you know what? I am going to make this point. You can't act like both the money and the awards are separate, right? Okay, actually, hold on. How do I want to say this? You can't act like I, I only deserve one or the other when people care about the awards but not about the money. You can't say that. You can't. You can't. You can't separate them if people care about one but not the other. You can't do that. That's all I'm going to say. I don't give a shit about the money. I don't give a shit. I care about the glory. Maybe if there was more of an incentive to have money outside of that and then be able to do my own shit for the glory, then... Never mind. I'm not even going to say anything. I'm going back to the deadlocked OST tier list. It's been fucking 20 minutes. If you guys aren't back, you're not back. Can I ask you to look at the post I made? I think it looks cute. 
All right, let me take a look. Also, Denret, thank you for the tier three and the so, 30. Shut up. I think, thank you for the tier three and the 32 months, that time of year again where I can spare a sub. When, when were you feared some long years ago, my man? Listen, I'm calling it right now. I'm saying it. I'm saying it right now. Runner of the year 2023, Zem92. I'm putting it out there right now. I'm shooting my shot. All right, we're taking a look at this community post. Happy holidays, gamers. It's Christmas week. Make sure you don't forget to tune in if you want some good and cozy vibes. Ho, 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 ho. This looks so cute. This looks so cute. I like this. Also, I'm going to take a look at the comment. What does the comment say? Dang, Jumbler seems like it will be quite interesting. Guess there's only one way to find out. Eyes emoji. Okay, I'm going to stop sucking my own dick because every time I do, the Ratchet community does more things to... Or the Ratchet community hates me more and more. We have a beautiful push-pull. <laughs> A beautiful push-pull uh, in the Ratchet community where, you know what? No. Fuck it. I'm going to suck my own dick. I deserve run of the year. Vote for me for run of the year. I grinded for seven months for that fucking bullshit. I overcame hell and high water. Oh, yeah. Emerald's running rank two. I get it. Everyone likes Emerald. But Emerald. Wait, hold on. Let me take a look here. Rack two. Let me take a look at Emerald's profile. Oh, thank you. Mm. Oh, well. Okay, I guess Emerald ran NG Plus for a few months. But I'm going to say it. Who gives a shit about Rag 2 NG Plus? I mean, Sub 7 GC NG Plus? I could get that right now. <laughs> Rag 2 NG Plus, then do it. That category's stupid. I am gonna do it next year. I'm gonna fucking destroy this. I'm gonna do it. You guys are creating a Joker arc. I hope you realize that. Prove it. I don't believe you. Listen, guys, I can only do one fucking thing at a time. Thank you, Ashes of, of Dreams, for the 33 months. OST went. Hold on! I'm working on it. This is a seven minute category. Do you guys know how hard it is to beat Franz? This is a category that no one fucking runs. Do you know how hard it was? I have nothing but respect for Emerald. I just want, I want the record to be clear. But Scotto did for like a week. Okay, hear me out. Wait, hold on. Let me take... We're gonna take a look at this. I'm sick of this. Let's see if this is a, if this is a good run. Okay. Yep. And then you kill yourself here. Yep, you gotta go out and then die. Blah, blah, blah. You go here. PS3 just looks so... I think my one issue with PS3 is that it just looks... Slow. You know what I mean? It's hard to even hold anything against Emerald here. This is kind of a cool little thing right here. Check this out. Nice little proxy. And then door three clip. Oh, that's a cool little thing right there. I like that strat. You just get hit by that guy. He launches you backwards. You camera clip through. It's kind of based. Don't Spyro Runners get mad when we say proxy? Why would they?
Because they say, because it's not a proxy. How is it not a proxy? It's literally translating horizontal momentum into vertical momentum, which is exactly what a proxy is. Solid. Gorn is... Okay, that's good. Yep. And then, yep, you single hop through there, camera clip through there. And then do all this stuff. I guess you just poke here. Can you do that no IMG on PlayStation 2? Is there just like a reason that we didn't know about that for a long time? Pentali found it after fear was done. Sag. That's a cool little piece of tech right there. All this stuff is very... I, I do think it actually is really cool to see the PS3 specific stuff. Jesus. The fact they had to do this on PS3 just to get across the rail is really cringe. Is that actually faster? There's, why can't you just like cancel the charge a little bit later? Were you as crushed as me to find out DDD wasn't a rookie? Yeah, a little bit. A little fuck up right there before, but that's, you know, you gotta, a lot of people fuck up somewhere. Yeah. No run's ever perfect, un unless you grind for like a long, long, long time. But usually there's still gonna be some cracks in the armor somewhere. So it looks like this is beatable, but obviously difficult. It's a good run. I know I was shit talking uh, Emerald before, just because I, I like to play up the the reputation of being like a hothead. But this is actually a solid run. It seems like Pentali, or not Pentali, it seems like Emerald is a lot stronger at the beginning sections than he is at the end sections. But I think that's just a, like a newer world record holder thing to happen, you know what I mean? Like when you're first, like Emerald is the world record holder, yes, but I still don't feel like I've seen Emerald gain the right to win yet. I don't see the confidence in the movement that I want to see from him. He'll get there though. He'll get there. This is sort of get a lead and hope to not bleed it away. Yeah. It's a good bit of movement right there. Pretty good overall. Pretty solid run. I can see why it was nominated for run of the year. However, that being said, you should vote for me anyway. <laughs> nah, I'll understand if I lose. I'll understand. I do I do actually see where people are coming from when they say when they want to like honor other people in the community rather than just giving me attention. I get it. But of course, as my own biggest advocate, I will of course just say, vote for me anyway. Because <laughs> if I'm not going to say for me, who is? All right, here we go. 
So last we were, before my shit crashed, we were doing All Aboard the Landstalker. So let's go back to it. All Aboard the Landstalker. Hello? Okay. Will Zem get rudder of the... <laughs> I fucking hate you, Spratty. I mean it, though, dude. I'm making a push for runner of the year 2023. I don't care about 2022. If I get it, I get it. If not, I'll understand. But 2023 is going to be a different story. Hello there, Pete from down the street. I'm going to say it. I'm not impressed by this one. I'm putting in C tier. Not a fan. All right, on the last one of Catacrom 4. Cheers, Sneepy, and thank you for the good luck. And also, shout-outs to Sneepy for putting together this tier list. I'm going to say, you know what? I'm going to give this one... I'm going to put it in A tier. I kind of like it. And you want to know why? Because I think every song, every great song, has like 5% shit mixed into it. You know what I mean? And for me, like, the, you got to give it something that gives you like that little doo-doo smell. That makes it stand out from everything else. You know? 5% shit. And I think the 5% shit of this song is the little modal mixture they got going on there. Where it is in G minor, but they throw in a lot of B naturals. They raise the third a lot. Like, like the, you got the... But then you got the, the little like... Like those little like interspersings. I kind of like that. Gives it a little bit of a shitty smell. All right. On to Serathos. Hello? Stop putting it into full screen. Wasn't a fan at first. Thank you, cheesy breadsticks. Come on, go somewhere here. Oh, don't do this to me. This is lazy. This is lazy. I'm wondering when to give. I'd say wait until the end, Bo. Or whatever you feel like. You, you just vibe when you want to vibe.
I'm gonna say it. Okay, I think I could see why people would like the boom whackers, like the the doom, the doom, the doom, that are doing the. It's like the same thing with the raised thirds. It's like kind of cool sounding, but I don't really like the timbre of the boom whackers. I feel like they don't really add a lot to this track. You hear what I'm saying? Like that boom, ba doom, ba doom, boom, ba doom, ba doom. I don't really like the timbre of it. I think the boom whackers take away more than they actually add. Is this going to be uploaded to YouTube? Not my main channel, no. I'll upload it to the VODs channel, but that's about it. And it's not, this sort of stuff doesn't go on the main channel anymore. I'm not a big fan. I'm going to put it in, I'll put it in B tier. Or is that, this is alien soil, right? Okay, let's do Serathos, or the Serathosian spirit. Okay, is it weird to say that, like, I feel like, in general, with this soundtrack, a lot of the, like, it feels like a lot of the sections are really cool, but a lot of the transitions between sections are really lazy. I feel like there's not enough that separates a lot of these tracks from one another because all the transitions are just like let's just take away three quarters of what's going on musically and just leave the fucking percussion and like maybe the rhythm guitar you know it's like every song has like the like like that that like 15 seconds where it's just like and just like everything else, and then like there's even like a like a synthy like, and then it goes into like, and you're like, okay, yeah, this is nice. And then it goes like, and you're just like, okay, this was cool like the first couple of times, but now like. I'm getting a little bored. I'm going to put this in... I don't know, man. It's just like, it, it all sounds... I, I like parts of this. I'll put it in B tier, I guess. Can you zoom in on the tier maker? Yeah, I can do that. We'll get like really high res with this shit. Look how high res this is. You can see every pixel of Ratchet's fucked up face here. Did you ever do an SM tier list? No, and I'm never going to. Yeah, this all looks really cool, actually. All right, we got to keep moving. Where are the Leviathans roam?
This intro is taking forever, dude. Unless this is just what the whole song sounds like. I kind of like... Well, actually, no. I don't really like the MIDI... Um, I didn't really like the, the, the snare brush. I'm not a big fan of that. And here we go. This is exactly what I'm fucking talking about. Where every single transition is like... Like the man, I hate when I'm right this hard. Yeah, this is not good. I'm gonna say it, I'm not a big fan. Oh, come on. This is going in C. I'm not a fan. I don't like this. Alright, have a good night, sleep, Sean. Listening to these without context is mad. While you listen to it while playing, though, it's good. I think, like, a good track should be able to stand on its own regardless. You know what I mean? This has been the most boring track so far, if you ask me. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is good. This is the King of the Leviathans. This is the boss fight. Finally, a good Serathos track. Wait, which one was on the prowl? Wait, did I not? Hold on. Did I not rate on the prowl? Oh yeah, this is just the same thing as Gris for the mill, right? <laughs> it is just Gris for the mill. Wait, did I really not rate On the Prowl? How did I miss that one? Hold on, let me go back to On the Prowl for a second. How did I miss this? Yo, what's up, Sly Boga? The combination of my two favorite people, Sly Cooper and Kit Boga. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, it happens. All right. Anyway, back to King of the Leviathans. Yeah, this track rules. I also like this a little bit more than the OG Gris for the Mill. I'm gonna put it right next to it in S tier, but slightly above. Just because I like it a little bit better. Yo, what's up, Ricky? Dude, I gotta go back and watch you guys' little co-op dance. <laughs> I want you to know, Ricky, uh, now listen, I, I think I could say this because I think the, the first round of voting for the Rack Awards is over. I want you to know, Ricky, that I voted for you and Skits for uh, for run of the year with the co-op run. I was like, I gotta do it for the culture. <laughs> if no one else got you guys, I got you guys. What was your alt YouTube, by the way? I forgot. I don't want to close the stream to check it. It is 
Zemvods. And poor little Zem clips sitting there unused. We uh we started using this for uh to test like uploads to see if they're copyright struck when we when we upload them. Uh but some of the uploads we've been doing are too long. We haven't we <laughs> we don't have the right to upload over like two hours because uh we don't have enough subscribers on this channel. <laughs> But honestly, don't even waste your time sub like subbing to this channel. It's just it we're not gonna do anything with it because now you can like YouTube updated it so that you can upload shorts to uh, your main channel and have it not really impact your main channel content that much. So it's it's on a different tab. It's it's treated differently by the algorithm. So this this channel was obsoleted. Don't expect anything if you sub to that. All right, where were we? Infiltrate the cathedrals. Now we're on Kronos. Are you doing OST tier list for the other games in the series? No. I did one, two, three deadlocked. I am not doing another one. I'm not. Actually, you know what? I'll say this, guys. So, uh, it took 100 gift subs for me to do this one. If you want me to do Size Matters, for example, uh, it's only going to cost 1,000 gift subs. So, if Squidward's ghost is feeling unusually generous, then you know what you got to do. For the low, low price of 1,000 gift subs, I'll do whatever ratchet tier list you want me to do. Now you may be wondering, you may be wondering, uh, why on earth would you charge money if you don't want to do it again? That's the fucking point. The point is, I don't want to do it anymore. I'm happy to do this one. But I want to focus my efforts on content that's a little bit more uh, thought-provoking, ideally. Thank you, Penguin, for the four months, dude. I have an exam in two days and I know nothing, so it's time to watch the Zem stream. Also, student loan came in again. Ooh, ooh, happy Monday. God bless you, Penguin of Light. Appreciate that. Good luck on your exams. Good luck to everybody who has exams. I'd say this is a pretty middle-of-the-road song. I don't really feel anything when I listen to this. But it's not like bad either. I don't know. I'll put it right here. This is about what I expect out of a B tier song. Alright, fight to the cathedral. Oh yeah, we are missing a song. Maybe that's uh we are missing a track which is unfortunate happens as they say this is a good track though i like this oh my god indie gogurt with the 22 months thanks so much carissa going to work soon but hi hi have fun at work have a great time which one missing uh Fight to the Cathedral. We have Infiltrate the Cathedral. We don't have Fight to the Cathedral. This is good. I like this. Maybe we'll make On the Prowl 2. Let's... How about this? We'll just compromise. We'll make On the Prowl 2 uh, Fight to the Cathedral. And I'll put this one in A tier. I like this one. I like this one quite a bit. What you're making? An OST tier list. A, a tier list of the Ratchet Deadlock soundtrack. I am starting to get, I'm gonna say it, I'm starting to get a little bit of that feeling I was afraid I would get. Um, where I'm like, it's starting to get a little repetitive. A little tiny bit. I think in the game itself, it's broken up enough with cutscenes that, like, you don't really notice it all that much. But when you're listening to it back to back to back to back to back, everything starts to sound a little bit like everything else. Can you do a Zem OST tier list tier list where you rank your tier list videos? Oh, that would actually be a really funny idea. I like that idea.
All right, let's do introducing Shell Shock. Did Zen miss my point, Redeem? Oh, LePew posted a link of me singing. I'm going to be honest, I don't want to listen to this right now. <laughs> but if you want to listen to it, you're more than welcome to. I'll post it here for everybody if you want to take a look at it. I'm not interested in listening to this right now. I've got an OST tier list to do. Okay, this is actually pretty good. Actually, how long ago did I record this? I just want to see. This was three years ago. Hair looks a little scruffier. I still got the same belly that I did three years ago. Working on getting rid of that right now. That's just pretty good. I'm going to put it at the bottom of A tier. Alright, climb the Tower of Power. Let's do it. What's up, Tanner? How you doing today, dude? this one how about this one right here bottom of S tier I think it's good I don't think it's like super great but it's good I like it alright time for Char How's them house tier listing? It's going. Oh, wait a minute. What the hell? Wait, hold on. Are we missing Avenger tournament? Oh, I see what happened here. Wait, is there a different one for Avenger tournament that I'm not aware of? It should just be the climb the tower of power, right? Do you have any fucks about Bayonetta? I just learned that Flamity the Moon is one of the songs in the Bayo 1 OST. Holy shit, that's crazy. That's actually crazy. Alright, I guess it's just... Wait, it is? Wait, why is it not in here? Am I, am I actually crazy? I don't know. Huh. Well, either way, we'll put this here until we figure it out. Avenger tournament equals adventure tournament. Yeah, but we have adventure tournament climb the tower of power and that's the only one on this on this uh, OST track listen, I'm not criticizing. I'm just trying to get to the bottom of what's going on here 
All right, so then we'll leave Climb the Tower of Power here. And then we'll leave Avenger Tournament here. If we need a repeat, then we'll, then we'll use it. We'll be economical. This was uploaded nine years ago. I guess this must have been when the uh, the the games got re-released. Well, actually, no, this was a while after that, right? Because they re-released the games on PS3 for the 10th anniversary. I can't believe they re-released they re the games on the 10th anniversary and everyone expected them to do the exact same thing for the 20th anniversary. Ratchet fans really do be gaslighting themselves sometimes. Oh, Deadlock was 2013? Okay. This is okay, I guess. I'm gonna put this one in... I'll put it above alien soil. Scott, that video of you singing was beautiful. Want to give me a voice lesson? Carissa, I'm so washed. I need to work on my own voice before I work on anyone else's. But I'm glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> okay, bye. All right, Landstalker stalking. Ooh. Okay. Stevie, were you not listening to anything that I said? Stibby. Stibby. This transition section, I still feel like it's a little on the lazy side. So I am going to put it below challenge failed and challenge complete, but I feel like it deserves SS tier. Dude, I want to get violent to this song. Anybody want to, like, play this song at a GDQ and just get into a fist fight? I'll fuck up all y'all, dude. I don't give a shit. I'll take on anybody. I'll take on anybody. That's a good fucking track. All right. As the wrench turns... Oh my god, live. That's a great idea. That's a really good montage song. Yo, Nick, I found you. Lav, I knew what you were going to say the moment I read there are two things I'm full of. You literally didn't even have to type the second part. I would have been able to auto-complete it in my brain. This is good. I like this track. Yeah, I'm going this at the top of A tier. I feel like this is a good A tier level song, you know? I feel like it's missing something that makes it S tier. Like, it's 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 missing a certain je ne sais quoi, 
you know? But I feel like it's solid, you know? It's tight. It's got everything it needs. It's an A-tier song. I fuck with it. All right. Up next, we have... What do we have here? Orcs on. Labyrinth of Death. Okay. I gotta say, bringing back Orcs on in Deadlocked the way that they did, actually a banger idea. Putting it right there. This is a banger. Oh, holy shit, dude. Look at this. I, I didn't even mean for this to happen. This is perfectly symmetrical so far. You can literally flip it on top of itself vertically. Wow. Get your cameras out, kids. I doubt that's going to happen again. Alright, I'm saying it. I'm saying it. You guys might be pissed at me for saying it. I'm saying it. Already, Tanner? Holy shit. How do you like- well, obviously you're liking it a lot. The plot twist? Tanner, you're on episode 31 of Attack on Titan. And yes, there are some plot twists that have happened. But you don't know anything. Anything. Just you fucking wait. All right, node overload. There's 87 episodes so far. With 12 more on the way. Dude, mono audio users fuming right now. That's all I'm going to say. All right, you know what? For the culture, I'll put it up here. It's not my personal favorite, so I'm, I'm going to put it below. The t Actually, I'm going to put it eh, just below Tower of Power, I think. But I like it. I like it, I love it, and I want some more of it. All right. 
On a refinery ambush. Let's do it. Dude, are all the orcs on tracks just fucking banger after banger? Oh, dude. I don't like this halftime transition. I feel like it's, a, again, just a little bit lazy. See, this I like a little bit better. Damn. Why was the first transition so lazy if that if that transition is gonna be so cool? <laughs> Good fucking track. All right. Holy shit. This is good. This is really good. Oh, man. I'm, I'm, the reason why I'm hesitating so much, I'm either putting it here or I'm putting it here. I feel like it makes, I feel like I'm going to put it here. I think it makes the most sense for me to put this here. Like, I feel like any song that wants to be here has to be better than this. It's just like, I still, I still can't get over, I, like, I really do have this problem for a lot of this OST. It really is just like, there's just so much laziness when, when it comes to these fucking musical transitions. And I get it. Musical transitions are hard. But like, that is the challenge. You know, it's, it's easy to write like a, like a banger, like four to eight bars. But it's really hard to know how to go from those banger four to eight bars to the next set of bars that are slightly different, you know? But that's that's where good music, like, those are the margins where good music has to exist. Like, and that's all, I think a lot of that is why a lot of people have problems with prog rock and prog metal. Which is that, like, in progressive music where everything changes all the time... It can be really cool to hear individual pockets of the music, but a lot of times one section feels so drastically removed from a different section that it's hard for people to wrap their brains around the concept of the whole song, right? And I feel like this is kind of suffering from a similar problem where it's like they're going for transitions in the songs that don't really capture what the songs are about. Like, each song is its own personality, right? It's its own little world. But if you make all the transitions just like carbon copies of one another, they lose their uniqueness. They, they lose their originality. And this, I, I can't justify putting this up here when, like, when I still have that fundamental issue with, with like, if I can look at four bars of music and be like, Wow, this song would be so much better without those four bars. You know? If you can say that, I don't think it deserves SS. 
So maybe I'm being a little persnickety. Maybe I'm being, maybe, maybe it's because I'm in a sour mood. You know, maybe it's because I woke up on the wrong side of the bed. I fell last night. I fell asleep at 1.30, which isn't great, but still better than how I usually do. And like, I expected to wake up around eight or nine. Uh, my alarms didn't go off and, and I instead woke up at 1130, fucked up my entire day. I'm stressed out about some shit going on in my life. It's the holiday season. I've seen one hour of sunlight in the last week. So maybe I'm just in the, on the, maybe I'm, I'm not in the, the kindest, most forgiving headspace here, but like, you know, like, uh, I feel like I need that. I feel like I need it, you know, to really justify putting it up here. All right, anyway, I'm done. I've, I've gone on long enough. Chains of Villainy. What is a bar of music? A bar is a measure. Yeah, bar is very literally just one, another way of saying one measure of music. You know what's actually interesting? You want to know what's carrying this track for me? It's not the industrial 808 drum beat. It's not the bass line. It's the rhythm guitar. The rhythm guitar is doing so much fucking work in this track. Take a listen to it. You're missing it right here. But listen for when it comes in. Not in yet. You'll know when it's back in. You know what it is? I'm starting to realize these transitions are so weak because they keep getting rid of the rhythm guitar. I think that's it. It feels like it loses all of the substance when you when you literally just leave the 808s, you know? Yo, can you guys help me? I have a problem with my headphones, Bluetooth. I can connect that on my PS3, but if I can go into the accessory settings, I hear only the voice of my microphone. I don't hear the PS3 sound. I search for hours on YouTube for some tutorial, but I stand still, unfortunately. Marble? I don't know how to help you. I really got no idea. Okay. Yeah, see, like, no bass and no rhythm guitar here just makes this section feel empty. This isn't, like, bad, I guess. But when it happens so often. So I'm going to put this in. I think I'm probably going to put this right here. I like it. I like it. It's good. It's just not good enough. All right.
Static Death Trap. I think A tier ranking makes sense for this. Here's how I'm gonna describe this, okay? I'm gonna describe this song and the reason I'm putting it in A tier. I know a lot of people may disagree with that because it, it sounds really cool. But my problem with this song is that it feels like the the parts are greater than the sum i like the 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 vocal effect going on the like the fucking like the you know which vocal like it feels like every individual effect is super cool but none of them really work together to make an incredible track so like for example let's go back to the beginning here static death trap is what it's called okay Like that. <laughs> That's a cool effect. I like the hi hat. That sounds cool. That's cool too. I like that effect too. It sounds cool. But like all of these effects, they don't really mesh super well. It still feels like there's something missing. You know what I mean? And maybe it's a funky rhythm guitar. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Like, that's cool sounding. Yeah, it's just, it's missing something. You know, it really is missing something. I can't really put my finger on quite what it is just yet, but it's just not doing it for me. I feel like there's a lack of middle instrumentation. That's that's where you should always look. If a, if a track feels too boring, it's probably the middle stuff that isn't strong enough. So, like... You know, you've got your 808s, just like the rest of them do, you know? You've got your fucking... I don't even know if 808s is the right term to use. I mean, it's, it is a MIDI track, but I don't know if 808s is specifically the kind of term I should be using for this. But yeah, like... I mean, I made a joke about it needing, needing a strong rhythm guitar, but I actually think it might be exactly that. Um, Yeah, I don't know. But does it support the atmosphere of the level, though? I mean... You, the thing is, when I think of Deadlocked, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I just think of edgy. Edgy, 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 and it's just different levels of edginess across different levels, or across the different planets, right? Like, if everything is edgy, then nothing is really edgy, you know? What's an 808? An 808 is like a, a drum beat done by a machine. Like, uh, for example, now that, I mean, I don't... I don't like to reference Yadolf very often anymore, but uh, he, the album 808s and Heartbreak, um, it was done using a specific machine called an 808s machine that creates tracks with a very specific sound. Um, I, I keep saying 808s because it's like the closest thing I can think of. Uh, and I don't want to get into the, the, the MIDI argument once again. Is a 303 the same? I have no idea, Zarnik allows. Fizz Freaky, thank you for the 19 months, homie, and welcome back to the Rack Pack. It's so good to have you back. 
But yeah, I mean, I don't know. It, it's like the syndrome thing. When everything is edgy, then nothing is edgy. And so, like, I can't look at each song and be like, well, this makes me pumped up. Because the whole point of the game is to make you pumped up. Like, if anything, a lot of the music here is a distraction to make you forget that the game itself is kind of the same thing over and over. <laughs> There's not really a whole lot of diversity to the missions in this game. It's like... You're either racing something, or killing something, or using the Land Stalker, or turning bolt cranks. It's usually one of those four things. So, I don't know. Alright, where did I put that? I, put, I already put it down. Alright, let's go to Marathon Man. Yeah, in a nutshell, I'm gay. I've listened to the metal remixes before Candy King. They're really good. Yo, Advance and Vanquish, thank you for gifting a sub to the community, dude. I really appreciate that. Very kind of you, my friend. Very kind. I'm gonna say it. This is kind of boring. Is this gonna get any more exciting than this? I'll put it in B. About as far as it goes for me. It is extremely middle of the road. Nothing interesting, nothing exciting. It's not, I don't dislike it though in any way, shape, or form. So, I mean, it's just very innocuous. You can listen to this and be like, oh yeah, this is a Deadlock song. You know, like, you're not gonna be like, ugh. Or like, yeah, you're just gonna be like, yeah, this is deadlocked. All right, now for Valak's belt. Maybe Sando. Alright, I've made my assessment on this. And Bo has added some stakes. Bo said, where you place this song will determine how many subs I gift. 
So obviously there's pressure on my shoulders at this exact moment, but you know what? I got to stick to my guns. I got to stick to my conviction here. I'm putting this right here. I don't know. I feel like it's good. I like listening to it. I'm obviously jamming to it, but there's nothing about it. Even with like the Obani Gemini, like the like satellite noises. I feel like this isn't really one that super stands out to me, but I also enjoy listening to it. You know, that's what I'll say. <laughs> All right. I got you. I got you. Space Ace. Here we go. We're more than halfway through now. Thank you once again for that bow. That's incredibly generous of you. Incredibly generous. Thank you. It means the world to me, dude. Be honest i'm gonna put this one probably around here again it's good but i don't really feel like it does anything super interesting and i feel like it's markedly worse than lost and found i'm actually gonna put this i'm gonna put this below space or i'm gonna put this below rise up <laughs> oh my god, dude. I'm gonna get DMC8. Oh wait, hold on. I gotta I gotta uh I forgot to do this. I gotta take I gotta take this out of the VOD so that it doesn't get fucking nuked. Holy shit, dude. Thank you so much, Bo. Thank you for 25 additional subs. Holy fucking shit, man. <sighs> 50 bomb? Yeah, it's an effective 50 bomb. Thank you so much. I'm not sure what to even say, if, I, if I'm being real with you. Like, I know that we agreed that we would do this, Bo, but like... Even being mentally prepared for something is not enough to, like, actually be there when it happens. Um, holy fuck, man. I want you guys to know, by the way, in the year 2023, I'm going to be my most uh, aggressive when it comes to shilling. I want you guys to know that I'm going to be, I'm going to fucking shill myself constantly. Um, so I, I want you guys to know this is going to be like the last month. You're going to see me being like kind of subdued, not really promoting all my shit, not really like pushing gift subs or shit like that all too much next year. I want to pop the fuck off. And if I want to do that, the hardest, I got to get my shit out there and I got to be confident that my shit is good. So, I just wanted to let you guys know as a little uh, aside. So, enjoy calm, subdued Zem while you've got him. That's all I'm really going to say here. Maybe I'll even try to be, uh, maybe I'll even get some practice in later. Shift 2.0. Dude, I'm not going to do it the way Shift did it. I. It will be sort of like that, but it'll be better than that, I hope. 
I'm not just going to be like, give me your money. <laughs> I'm going to be like, hey, guys, uh, if you enjoy my YouTube videos, sub to my Patreon. Oh, you like you came here from YouTube? You enjoyed my videos? Sub to my Patreon. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Let's keep going. I don't want to get sidetracked here. My ADHD is kicking in. Where are we right now? We're on power up. Oh, shit. Come on, give it to me. Give it to me. You've been teasing it for so long. You've been teasing it. Oh. Come on. Hit me hard. Hit me hard here. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Man, ah. Oh. This song feels like one can sit like continuous blue ball. Like I keep, I keep waiting for it. I keep waiting for the moment where it smacks me in the face and it just doesn't give it to me. It's good. I like all the individual spots. I do. I'm not putting it in SS tier. If it had, if it had had like one punch in the face, I would have put it in SS, but instead I'm going to drop this one probably right about here in S tier. I think that's a pretty decent spot for it. I think it is, it, like, each individual section is better than all the other A-tier songs, but I don't see enough to put it higher. And that's my, that that's the God's honest truth. Speaking truth to power on that one. That was such a bait and switch? Yeah, I agree. It was a bait and switch. Certified banger coming up. All right, yeah, what do we got next? We have let the light shine through. Zem, is your rack one platinum vid the most viewed video you ever made? Yes, and it's not even close. It's it's uh I think like eighty thousand views higher than my second most viewed video. Actually, here we can even check real quick. Uh, I'm getting a little sidetracked, I know, but um, if we take a look at visibility, public, all my public videos. 223,000 views. The next most viewed one is 136,000. So it's a 90, nearly 90,000. Nearly 90,000 views higher. And almost 10,000 likes. Oh my god. If you haven't liked this video, make sure you like it. I mean, I'm pretty sure most of you have seen the video by now in this chat. But uh, if you haven't liked it already, please feel, please like it. I would love to have a video that gets 10,000 likes. You guys know that having a bigger number means I'm a better person, right? You guys know that. All right, let the light shine through. Okay. It's still building. It's still building.
Oh, come on. Give it to me. Give it to me. Come on! Give me something here. Oh man, it had everything, dude. It had everything going for it. <sighs> God, that's so depressing. That's so depressing. I don't know, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? It's a good song, right? But like, when it promises so much and then fails to deliver, in reality, you're just Zem92. What's up, Chocolate Zombie? Thank you for the 17 months. I appreciate that, dude. Gonna have to catch up after I get out of work? Hell yeah, buddy. I don't know, man. Maybe maybe that's why I hate this song so much is because it reminds me of myself. <laughs> no, I don't hate it. Oh, man. I want this to be so much better than it is. I'm going to put it in A tier. I'm going to put it over Space Ace. I still like it better than Space Ace. I think if anything, I move Space Ace down, but I like it. I like Let the Light Shine Through better than, than Space Ace, so I'm going to put it in A tier. I feel like I've made a lot of disparaging comments toward myself today. Like, I, I already mentioned something about throwing myself off a cliff, and now I just call myself mid as fuck. I just want to say that I appreciate you guys for being here. Thank you for being a part of this. And I know that I was a grumpy snail at the beginning of this stream, but you guys have definitely made my day a lot better. So, thank you guys for being awesome. All right, hover bike or bust? Thank you, Tanner. I appreciate that, dude. I agree, uh, DT peers. Ooh. Ooh. Thank you so much, dude. Bo with the 100 gift subs. Thank you for being a man of your word, Bo. I'm sorry it took so long to get here. I really fucking appreciate you, dude. And I hope that finals are treating you really well, man. Thank you so much. Thank you. It really means a lot, dude. Whew. Thank you, man. Yeah, if you guys don't know, if you're enjoying this this OST tier list, make sure you thank Bo. 
Bo is the only reason that I decided to do this in the first place because Bo uh, offered 100 gift subs for me to do it. Um, I would not have done this otherwise. So if you guys are enjoying yourselves, this little trip down memory lane, and if you're in the YouTube, if you're watching this on the YouTube channel, make sure you drop a comment thanking Bo as well. If you got this far. Um, so yeah, dude, thank you so much. Zemi salutes all around for Bo. Please and thank you. I better see some goddamn salutes in the chat for this motherfucker. I bribed you with the 25 and then convinced you with the promise of 100. That's 100. That is true. That's exactly what happened. All right, let's keep going. Where were we? We were on hover bike or bust. Let me go back to the beginning of this just to make sure that I don't like forget about it or overlook it in any way. Yeah, as per the usual, say what you haven't learned your lesson, but that's okay. How many songs have been in 4-4? Almost all of them, I believe. Yeah, I think all of them. Actually, no, this song is... Okay, I know you're making a joke, Rue, but I'm going to explain to you guys. Okay, so a lot of you musically don't understand. Like, okay. So, if I were to say there's a world of difference between 4-4 four, four, and 8-8 eight, eight in music time signatures, a lot of you probably wouldn't believe me. Because... Um, the, the ratios are the same, right? If if it's something is in 4-4, four, four, then why wouldn't 8-8 eight, eight be the same? It actually has to do with what gets the beat. So, for example, 4, if it has a 4 in it, so for example, 4-4, four, four, it's in something called binary meter, meaning that uh, every, like the beat is determined by two eighth notes. So, for example, a song in 4-4 four, four, four goes 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and, right? Binary. It's a feeling of 2. So, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. Whereas 8-8, eight, eight, right, is in something called ternary meter, meaning that it's not necessarily uh, in, like systems of three but it is derivative of systems of three so for example a lot of songs are in six eight so instead of going like one and two and three and four and five and six and which would be six four it instead goes one two three four five six one two three one two three one two three four five six it's in a feeling of three right and so the difference between four four and eight eight an 8-8 eight, eight song is divided into a feeling of 3 and 3 and 2. So it doesn't matter what order it's in. It can be 3-3-2 three, three, or 3-2-3 three, three, or 2-3-3. Three, three, but it is in one of those structures. I'll show you an example of a song that's in 8-8. Eight, eight. Uh, so Rorum Toccata. So this is my favorite piano piece ever. And it's in 8-8. Eight, eight, and it's in... One two three one two one two three one two three one two one two three one two three one two one two three one two one two three one two three one two one two three one two three one two one two three one two three one two one You would you could you could theoretically go one two three four one two three four but that wouldn't be accurate to what the music is actually doing. So if you go back to the beginning here. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You can do that, 
but it doesn't match the musical stress. The musical stress is in one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. So that's the difference. I got really sidetracked there because of my ADHD, but I hope you all at least learned something. Okay, let's keep going. What about eight, four, or four, eight? Um, if you're writing something in eight, four, you would write in one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and, which would really just be four, four, but with, but you just chose to write it like a douchebag. Like eight, four isn't really a thing unless you write musical phrases that can only be expressed in eight beats. Um, and four, eight, you wouldn't really write something in four, eight. You're more likely to write that same thing in 2-2. Two, two. Like, for example, 4-8 is like a fast, like 1-2-3-4, 1-2-3-4, 1-2-3-4, 1-2-3-4, 1-2-3-4. But you could realistically just write that in one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. You know? It like you can write whatever time signatures you want, but if you write stupid time signatures, you look like an idiot. Like, 8-4 and 4-8 are just stupid time signatures, if we're being honest here. Okay. Let's keep going. Where were we? We're still on Hoverbiker Bust. <laughs> okay. I like this track. It's a good track. I'm going to stop being sidetracked. That's intentional, Polar Bear. Yeah, Winter Fresh. I think a lot of you guys, like, trust that I'm a good musician. But I like moments like these because I feel like I can prove that I'm a good musician. You know? Like, it's like, oh, he actually does know what he's talking about. I would assume that's probably the case. I like this song. I don't feel like it does anything. Actually. Oh boy, another lazy transition. I'm gonna be honest, this track starts off so good and then gets worse and worse and worse as it goes. Yo, Joshy, thank you for the 26, dude. I appreciate that. Welcome back, homie. I don't know. I'm gonna put it top of B tier. It's just. It's just. Eh. Eh. Alright, Seek and Destroy. I feel like I'm having a fucking deadlocked music refractory period. You know, like... <laughs> like, 
I don't know, you fucking jerk off to the same thing so many times, you're just sick of it. You know? I'm not, like, tired of the music, I just want some variety, you know? Give me something with a little bit of variety. I mean, uh, I like it better than Hoverbiker Bus, but not by a whole lot. I'm gonna put it right here. Um... Give me what's next, the turn on. This is a good track. I like this track a lot. It's definitely going in S. I'm not sure where. I was thinking of like six different things during that track. First, I was thinking about the intersectionality between what is popular in music right now and how I'm rating this tier list. And how that in like, like uh, uh, mixes in with uh the the overall theme of how i'm rating this tier list as a whole and what i'm looking for in it and then i was thinking weirdly enough about how i think a lot of you guys enjoy these tier list stream streams because it's something different and exciting and we can all easily have a conversation about it and i think that's what you guys are looking for more than specifically tier lists i was thinking about that too and so because this song made me think a lot of deep thoughts i am going to put it high in s tier I don't know where, though. I'm going to put it just below Grist for the Mill. Advanced Qual's stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, guys, in case you haven't noticed what Advanced Qualifier's thumbnail is. <laughs> All right, let's see here. On to the next one. We'll see. <laughs> All right, Eviscerator. Yo, what's up, Airmo? Good to see you, homie. Hope you're doing well today, dude.
hits and the rhythm guitar comes in and makes everything better. That's where I'm putting it. I'm putting it like towards the bottom of S tier. I like it. It's different. Um, speaking of things in popular music, I know it's a bit outdated. What's your opinion on Star Walking? I never say it's over if I'm breathing. It's a good song, not a good world song. Very uninspiring uh, song. It's good. It just doesn't make me amped. Everyone knows the best League of Legends song is Rise. Always has been, always will be. That music video fucks. I never say it's over if I'm breathing. All right. Um, we're on Stygia now. Junking the Jammers. I think you mean Enemy by Imagine Dragons is the best League song? You deserve that. Warriors, Imagine Dragons... You deserve that, too. <laughs> I'm giving Nick Astelos... I was thinking about it. I'm going to let Nick Astelos be a martyr for his cause. I know that Nick Astelos is the world's biggest Imagine Dragons fan. And so, of course, he's going to say Imagine Dragons. Can't fault the guy for that. But at least now, like this, he gets to raise his own cause. Okay. Where were we? We were on Stygia. <laughs> It's good. I'm not crazy about it, though. All right. Let's keep it going. Energy Collector. Okay. Give me a little bit more. Give me a little bit more. Give me a little bit more. Just a little bit. No, don't do this. Don't do this. Come on, get out of this. Get out of this. Come on, you got this. Okay, we're back a little bit. We're back. You didn't really earn that. You didn't really earn that transition. But I'll accept it. Give me a little bit more. Okay. Okay, I like this little guitar solo going on here. It's like a synth solo, rather. Like, meant to sound like a guitar. Oh, come on. Soft. Soft. 
Give me more! That's the loop. God damn it, that's so disappointing. It was so- it had so much fucking potential. And it didn't live up to any of it. It's a little- it's the- it's a Zem 92, dude! It's a Zem 92! God damn it, man. I'm putting it above airdrop. No, I'll put it above Chains of Villainy. God damn it, dude. Okay. Shields up. Wait. Yeah, shields up. Okay, I like this. Steve Vai vibes in that guitar solo. Come on, give me a little bit more. Oh, come on. This could be so good. Fuck on, dude. Okay. Why are you so fucking scared? Dude, okay. I need to fucking sit David Burgo down and give him the realization that I've had this entire last month. Why are you so fucking scared of being the best version of yourself? Why are you so fucking scared? Fucking, you know what you have to do to achieve good work. You know what you have to do to make this song good. Fucking do it! If you're gonna throw a guitar in there, give it a fucking guitar solo! Holy shit, dude! Don't be fucking scared of taking risks. You have to take risks if you want to succeed. Jesus Christ. I'm pissed off, dude. I'm fucking pissed. I'm putting this in A tier. Fuck you, David Burgo. Listen to the whole track just in case. Okay, this is cool. Now build up to something. Fuck you. Actually, fuck you. Go fuck yourself, dude. I have to give it A tier purely based on the fact that it could have been SS tier. It had all the ingredients. This, like, I, you know what? I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. For those of you who've been watching me for years and years, I'm sorry if this is what I've done to you as a content creator. I'm sorry if I've jerked you off to near completion over and over and then been like, sorry guys, I gotta take a week off. Sorry guys. I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna stream super seriously right now. Sorry guys, the YouTube video is coming out soon, I promise. If this is what I've fucking done to you guys, I'm- I cannot ever do this to you again. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm literally having a fucking epiphany because this song is so bad. 2023 is the year I jerk you guys off to completion.
That that is the year I make you bust the fattest content nut of your entire life. I, I try to say lives and life at the same time. It came out as live. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do the fucking good work. Oh my god, man. It's so fr- After I'm done streaming today, I'm gonna go fucking write my script. I literally was gonna wait until tomorrow to sit down with my script writer and do it. I'm fucking doing it today, man. I'm literally gonna do it after I'm done streaming. This is actually so fucking stupid. Does every song have to have a big drop? Serious question. No, it doesn't. But if there are certain musical moments where it feels like there's a build, right? Like if you're going to do a layered progression, right? Like for example, if I go... Wait, hold on. Sorry, give me a second. And I layer like a... Like a, for example, a you expect the woohoo! You know? Where's the fucking woohoo? So, like, it feels, for example, like a lot of the songs are giving you something. They have the layered progression. They build the drums. Then they build the bass. And then they have the ethereal sound effects. And then the rhythm guitar comes in and all hell breaks loose. Right? But if they only do that for four measures and then immediately rip everything away and then give you only a bass line again, you're going to be like, that's it? What, what, can I, what am I going to be able to jam out to? You're giving me something, but you're not giving me everything. And I'm not saying every song has to have that. But I'm saying if you set up all the ingredients to do that sort of thing, every song can have its own moment. But right now, it is formulaically going four measures of build into four measures of more, and then four measures of a little bit more, I guess, and then four measures of nothing, and then four measures of something again, but different. And then four measures of, this is the climax of the different section. And then it goes back to four measures of nothing. You know? Ah! Sorry. I'm just... Ah, David Burgo, you can do better than this. I know you're capable of so much more. Give me shield survival. Okay, okay. You can take a little bit away here. I'll give you that. There you go. You can take it away, but give it back. Give it back. Yes! Finally! Do you see what I fucking mean? Oh my god! He's gonna, he's gonna... Oh! Dude,
And I'll even take this. This is fine. Because he's earned it. He's earned it by giving us so much for so long. You can take it all away. I don't mind. Take it away from me. And then give it right back. And I think it looped already. Oh my god, finally, dude. You know, in a lot of ways, in a lot of ways, good music is like good sex. It can't all be the same. Otherwise, it's boring. And it can't all just be fucking, like, even... As much as women say they want to just get fucking pounded, even they get bored of it if that's all that's happening for fucking 25 straight minutes. You know? Sometimes you gotta add a little bit of finesse in there. Sometimes you gotta add just a little bit of just slowing things down. Sometimes you gotta add a little bit more accuracy, a little bit more precision. And then, just when they get used to that, then you start the thrusting again. And you're like, bitch, you fucking thought. You got to leave them wanting more. And then you give it to them. Oh, God, that's a good fucking song. Okay. Jailbreak. See, this is fine. We don't need this to be super intense, but it's building to something, right? It's building to something. Adding a little bit more. It's taking shape. Yep. Now they got the snares coming in. Proprio Louis. That's cute, don't I? I like that. No, I know. I know what you're saying. That's why I thought it was cute. I understand what you mean. Palo un po. Yo palo... Oh, wait. Palo un po. Palo un po. like this track I like it quite a lot it's very atmospheric I'm gonna put this one over chains of villainy I like it quite a lot actually you can kind of envision what what the game is supposed to look like when you listen to that track Especially the idea of it being jailbreak, you know, like not everything has to be super intense, right? Like atmospheric stuff is good on its own as long as once again, you really seriously commit to it because like look at it this way Challenge complete and challenge failed are two totally different tracks two totally different feelings, right? But the reason why they're the numbers one and two tracks in this entire OST so far is because they are so unabashedly themselves. 
You understand exactly what's happening when those songs play. And the same sort of idea with Jailbreak. All right, let's keep going with Maraxis. Total Control. I've never played it, so I'm curious how good would you guys say Deadlocked is? Jay Smart, I would say Deadlocked is a very fun 6 out of 10. You're going to play it and, and not really feel like it ever changed your life in any sort of meaningful way. Like, nothing about it really stands out in comparison, especially to the other Ratchet games. But it's fun. You know, you get to blow shit up, you get to turn your brain off, you get to listen to some good music. You get to just fuck around and have fun. That's all that really matters. Oh, welcome back, Nick. It's good to see you, dude. Let me remod you. It changes your life if you're nine? Yeah. Is there a rhino? Uh, no, there's no rhino, but there is a weapon that's like the rhino. Ooh. I recommend it. You know, give it a shot. A lot of people put it in their top five Ratchet games. Oh, by the way, this reminded me of something. Uh, guys, you want to know what else is coming in 2023? I will be climbing the Ouya multiplayer ladder. I thought you guys would want to know that. There is a server dedicated to reconstructing the uh, Ouya multiplayer servers. And there's a lot of people who play on it every single day. And they're all fucking cracked. And uh, the movement... And the combat in multiplayer is a lot different than single player. Like, none of them would stand a chance against me in a speed run. But as of right now, I don't stand a chance against any of them in ranked. <laughs> in, uh, in ranked multiplayer. So, uh, you know, I got to start climbing that ladder. Plus, uh, I also want to make a couple of videos that I think you guys would really enjoy. I want to do hide and seek and I want to do manhunt. Uh, there's also currently a prop hunt mod being made for Rack 1, meaning that m there is multiplayer for Ratchet 1, and prop hunt, if you guys don't know what that is, one person is disguised as one of the props in the level, and the other person has to figure out what it is, and then hunt them down. So a lot of that kind of shit's going to be coming in 2023. Does speed tech work in ranked? Yes, but it's very different. It's executed very differently. So I'm going to be making a lot of videos on that because I think you guys will find that really interesting. i got to start talking to my team about that. Can we do this as a community fun game night? I don't see why not. We could always do that. I might also need some help from some of you guys to make my manhunt videos. Because uh, in 2023, I want to basically get my dream on and start doing scripted manhunt videos. And I might need some help from you guys if you're willing. Alright, let's keep going. How are we feeling about this track? Sprouty, thank you for the $3. Says me and your mother. That's what's happening in 2023. Shit. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling B as well. It's like alright, but... I'm not like super invested in it. I'm going to put it like... Probably just above alien soil. For some reason, I really like the word soil. It feels really fun to say. Where could I go to find the first rack tier list? We're going to re-upload that to the VODs channel very soon. So don't you worry. It'll be there. 
Oh yeah, guys, reminder that uh, if you haven't already voted, I have a very important poll up uh, on my Twitter. Very important poll. Um, make sure you vote on whether or not I should shit my pants in a Walmart again. I will abide by the results of this poll. 600 people, 650 people have voted so far. It's pretty good, but we can pump those numbers up. All right, let's keep going, shall we? Uh, where are we going to now? Leave no man behind. The last one of Maraxis. We got a song in 6 4. Uh, I don't know of a tutorial, Jura, but I do know where the server is if you want to join that. Guys, if you want to join the Ratchet and Clank multiplayer server, this is the server. I mean, it's interesting that this is in 6-4, but like... Just shut up, Mad Bat. You know better than to fuck with poor Walmart employees, shit yourself at a Chick-fil-A or IDK the Walmart people can catch a fucking break. What if I shit in the floor of the Tesla factory? No. What if I shit in the SpaceX rocket? What if I shit on the SpaceX rocket? What if I shit in the burners of the SpaceX rocket? And that way, when the, the rocket goes off, it'll burn the shit and then it'll make everything smell really bad. What if I shit on Elon Musk's bed? Anyway, this song is kind of mid. I'm gonna put it, uh... I don't know, I'm gonna put it right here. It's kind of boring. All right, ghost station, here we go. Oh, man. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know if anything can ever beat the goats. But this sure as shit gets damn well close. And I know some of you guys may disagree with that, 
some of you may think this is the best track in the game, but let me tell you something. Let me ask you a little, a, a little question right here. When you were a kid, did you ever, ever, and I mean ever, get tired of hearing, The answer is already no. I, I'm going to answer it for you. You never got tired of it. It's the goat. It's just the goat. But it's close. It's close. All right, running the gauntlet. Let's keep going. Thanks for the happy birthday, guys. It's not my birthday, but I appreciate that, you know, you're wishing me a happy birthday. How old does Google think I am? I'm not going to click on these random links anymore. It's true. It's true. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. one right here can't believe your parents are North American I know isn't it insane circle master welcome to the stream dude it's good to have you hope you're enjoying yourself guys know that this is one of the best Don Dozo teams right now? It's Tatsugiri and Don Dozo. That's insane, dude. Did you guys know that in Ratchet Deadlock you have to adapt or die? That's crazy. Anyway, yeah, this is A tier. I'll put it uh, right here. Oh my god, dude. Okay, there we go. I fixed everything. All right, go station escape.
Is the combo cringe or fun? It's really fun. I'll tell you a cheese strat after we're done here. You don't want to do the toxic orb cheese? What the fuck? That strat's so based. What you're saying is you're a coward, Dorothy. Just Terra the Don Dozo to dark, and that way it's immune to prankster. Then you just kill the, the Murkrow. Good, it's just a little uninteresting. I'll give it A. Just a little uninteresting. Uh, I'll probably put it right here. It's just uninteresting. Feels too samey. This is the unused track. What the hell? Dear Lord, Basilisk, that's a lot of OST. I can see why this is unused. It's very unlike the rest of Deadlock. That's pretty cool. I like that. But it's on the tier list, so I'm not ranking it. Okay, anyway, here we go. East generator time. We're nearly finished. Destroy the east generator. I'm going to say it. I've said this like six times already, but I'm going to say it again. This song will be better with the guitar solo. I'm putting it in S, but it doesn't deserve SS. It doesn't deserve it. Um, Just listen to more. It has a cool section. On. You can give me more than that. Imagine if that was doubled in like the the fucking electric guitar. If it was just like, you 
You know, like, just fucking double it. Make it more pronounced. This song gets better. David Burgo should hire me. I swear to God. Just have me write all this shit. And then he can take the credit. <laughs> have him write all the bass shit. And then have me come in and make it better. I can be the make your music better guy. That's what I'll do. Uh, I'll put it right here. Okay. West Generator. What genre of music is Ratchet and Clank exactly? I would say industrial is probably the best way of putting it. It usually derives a lot of very, like, dirty sounding beats, which is very, like, a very industrial thing to do. This fucks. Wait, you guys seen this? He just fucking <laughs> Ooh. Flat six. Flat seven. One. Flat six, flat seven, one is uh, a fan favorite. All right, that's a pretty good one. I like that one a lot. All right, we got only a few more tracks left to go. Let's do Defeat Gleam and Vox. Okay. I like this little hi-hat ride going on here. Oh! Yes! Yes! Yep, okay, yeah, it takes a little bit, takes a little bit. At this point, it's standard, but we keep it going. See you later, Pete. Have a good one, dude. This one definitely rounds out SS tier. Not a doubt in my mind. That's a great fucking song. That's a good song, dude. 
I like that. All right, we only have a few left. We have credits and then all the multiplayer ones. I actually don't remember any of these. What's up, two tiny mammoths? What's the emojis on top? I think you can just rate my tier list. <laughs> this is just grist for the mill again! God damn it, dude! Alright, well, it was so nice they did it thrice. I'll put it right here. All right, multiplayer. Oh, I remember this. See you later, Gnome. This is a good track. Very ambient. Yeah, they use this in Rack 3, right? This is the Rack 3 multiplayer music. I like this one, very nostalgic. Very nostalgic. Oh, don't worry, Basilisk. I'm aware. I was actually just talking about that not too long ago. Two Tiny Mammoths. The way that I describe this game is that it's not a great game, but it's a very fun game. I'm going to put it at the bottom of S tier. It does its job, and it does it well. All right, up next we have the multiplayer waiting room. Dude, this is a tame moment. So where the hell did Tain go? Oh wait, Tain is there. I mean, it's just one of the best tracks in the entire series. I don't even care if it's from Rack 3 already. I'm putting it right here. It deserves it. It deserves it. Why mess with success? If it's not broken, don't fix it. And Ouya tier list, we had a reused tier. I think we should do that here too. We're not making a tier to put three songs in. <laughs> it made sense because they repeated like eight songs in Ouya, but I think three is too few. All right, multiplayer victory. I'm a winner! I feel like a genius! The fucking French horns! This is amazing. This is amazing, dude. All right. Last but not least. What does it sound like when you are a loser? No. 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 
No, I didn't want to lose! <laughs> I didn't mean to be a loser! <laughs> I didn't mean to be a 30-year-old dude who entertains 18-year-olds six hours a day. <laughs> I didn't mean to achieve none of the goals that I set out for myself. I'll do better, I swear. Literate Max, thank you for the five gifted subs, homie. I appreciate that. That feeling when 30 and balding? I'm not balding! Dude, look! I'm not! I'm not bald! I'm putting this in the... I'll put an S tier. Thank you so much for that, Literate Max. I really do appreciate that, dude. That means a lot. Thank you, thank you. We had three repeats. No tier list is perfect. But I think overall... Wait, hold on. We gotta go back to a classic. I think overall... This is a fucking great tier list. We got all the SS ones. We got all the S ones. All the A ones perfectly. All the B ones perfectly, and all the C ones perfectly. I think this is the perfect tier list. And I think if you disagree with anything that I've said here, you should go fuck yourself. <laughs> I'm very happy with this tier list, and I'm glad that we got it done. I know a lot of people have been waiting for this one. It's been a long time coming. Can I save this? Download image. Now all you have to do is just post it right to Twitter. Uh, where's my downloads? The objectively correct deadlocked OST tier list. All complaints can go to twitch.tv slash zem92 slash subscribe. No. I'm just going to say the objectively correct deadlock OSD tier list. Woo! All right, gamers. Do me a favor. Like this tweet. Sorry, I fucked up the link like six times. Like this tweet, retweet it, comment on it, engage, 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 engage. And while you're engaging, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. We are nearly at 30,000 subscribers, which is huge. At the beginning of the year, I was at 21,000. We've given 8,000 so far with only seven videos. <laughs> My god, we only put out seven videos all year. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well, anyway, gamers, thank you all so much. I genuinely appreciate having you all here. You guys are amazing. Uh, I have to get going for now. I have to clean my apartment real quick. Uh, and then I'm going to go write a script for an another YouTube video. I love you guys. Tomorrow I will be back with Ouya. No QE runs. I'll be going for world record. Um, and then after that, we'll be playing more Crash 4. Wednesday, I've got, I've got a big stream week ahead of me. So guys, check this out if you haven't already. This week, we've got no QE speedruns. Uh, and then I'm also doing the Jumpless Challenge on Wednesday. Ouya NG Plus Jumpless. On Thursday, we're doing a mod where if I am mean to you guys, and an AI judges, we have an AI judging everything I say. And if I say anything mean to you guys, it could possibly, it will punish me in unique ways up to and including resetting my entire file. Uh, more Ouya and Crash on Friday, and then probably a YouTube stream on Saturday. So gamers, I love you all. 